Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. So we've got a pretty massive tattoo going on here today, the whole outside panel of the arm. It was done over the course of around six weeks in four different day sessions. The first two sessions were back to back and then after it healed, six weeks later, we did the next two sessions back to back again. I should also point out that in between the six week healing gap, I also updated my filming setup. So the first two days were filmed using just a couple of iPhones on time-lapse mode. So it does look a little bit B-Tech, I can't lie, but we are on the rise and that's all that matters. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate that perfect back posture? I can confidently say that at 23 years old, if I carry on like this, I'll probably never get any back issues. Let me just make this statement now and watch very closely. When it comes to realigning stencils, I'm probably the best in the world. It doesn't even matter if the tattoo is two years old, one years old, a couple weeks old, I can freaking nail it every damn time. Watch this, watch this, look at that. Look how good that is. If you'd like to know all my secrets for free, then leave a comment below and I'll make an in-depth YouTube video about this and how I realign all my stencils on large tattoos that I don't get finished in one day and how you can nail it every single time, just like me. One of my favorite things about the composition of this design is how it wraps around the inside of my client's shoulder and creeps onto his chest slightly. I feel like that really helps the dragon pop off of the skin and gives it so much more depth to the whole design. The plan for the future is that we're gonna blend in the shoulder into a new chest piece and carry on with the same sort of theme and just have everything flow into one large piece of art. If anyone's wondering what on earth this paintbrush is that I'm using right now, it's a 45 curved mag. I've never used a needle that big before. I've had it in my inventory for quite a while now and I've been pretty excited to use it. And I just haven't had the chance. It was fun for a little while, I'm not gonna lie. It was almost too big to saturate, especially on the shoulder because the skin's quite squidgy around there. Maybe it'd be good somewhere else, like on a leg. So I switched straight back to my 23 mag, as you can see. So maybe I'll get it out again, I'm not too sure.
and then oh shit. Dry it with kitchen roll, I'll give you a bit for the hotel. Oh sorry mate. No man, you, I know you gotta do what you gotta do, but fucking hell. Blobs here and there. Yeah, and this bit hurts. Sorry. I think I'm gonna need two pads. It's a bit overkill, but There you go. That is it for the night. The fourth day here was actually one of the most challenging days out of all four. Even though it's not as technical as the dragon and I had to be a lot more precise, here I can be a lot more free. I was pretty much just using a seven round shader for the whole thing and just doing this squiggly dotted pattern wasn't really thinking about it too much just trying to keep it really natural and organic so it didn't look like anything was out of whack because with nature you want it to be natural if they, if something looks too precise it doesn't seem right as you can see because i'm doing so many layers you can tell here i have to start with the black and then i build up my warm tones and put in some highlights each layer it was just destroying my stencil and the stencil wasn't sticking very well from the start of the day to be honest so a lot of this part of the design i just had to freehand which was really stressful but i'm still really happy with the result and you'll see how it comes together as the layers build up squint your eyes really hard and really really look as closely as you can you still can't see the stencil so this part was pure anxiety but I still pulled it out the bag So all in all, across the four day sessions that we did on this outside arm, you're probably looking at around 30 to 32 hours in total of actual tattoo time, which means what you're seeing in this video is really cut down and really sped up. If you'd like to see full uncut, slowed down time lapses from start to finish so you don't miss any of the steps, as well as real time tattooing with close ups, then please head over to my Patreon, the link is in the description below and you'll find everything that you're looking for. But other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave you with some real time tattooing coming up in a minute for the white highlights. And please, if you did enjoy, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you did like about it, let me know some of the things you'd like to see in future. And please, last but not least, do subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Have a good one guys.